When it comes right down to it, do you ever struggle when it comes time to being productive? Well, in today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you a little trick, a little known hack that will help you be more productive in the short term when you sit down to get work done and in the long term as well. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Kareem Osaid here, the founder and host of the Trailblazer Uprising Show. Your favorite place to unlock the lessons of nerd culture, to power up your life and also your impact on the world. On this channel, I help professionals just like you master their mindset so they can start the career or job of their dreams. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure you receive every episode as soon as it becomes available. I'm out here at Laguna Beach, California. Let's see if you can see the waves or maybe at least you can hear them. So I'm out here at the beach and I need to share this really important tip with you that can make a huge difference in your overall productivity in your life. Now, this tip helps you on the macro level as well as on the micro level. What do I mean by that? When you're looking at your productivity of your year, this is gonna have an impact. And when you're looking at your productivity in one work session, maybe a couple hours or something, this will have an impact as well. Well, what is this tip you might be asking? Well, I'll tell you right now. But first, I need to tell you a little story. All right. Story time. So check it. Today's story is actually pretty short. Remember that end credit scene at the end of Avengers number one? Basically, the Avengers are done. They saved the world from this crazy alien invasion and they're just all done. They're exhausted, they're just tired. And I think earlier in the movie, there's a reference made to this shawarma shop. I think Tony Stark makes a reference to it. You ever tried shawarma? There's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. We're not finished yet. And then shawarma after. And so at the end of the credits, there's a scene of all of the Avengers, and it's kind of hilarious, actually. All of these Avengers are sitting in this tiny shawarma shop, and they're all just chowing down on shawarma. So you've got like Bruce Banner, and Thor, and Captain America, and Tony Stark. And they're all just kind of hanging out, you know, and just chowing down on some shawarma. So what on earth does this have to do with productivity? Well, I'll tell you right now. So in case you haven't figured it out by now, the trick that I want to talk to you about is taking a break. Now I know you're thinking, that's lame. This is not actually a trick. This is a way to be less productive, is by taking breaks. Well, the truth of the matter is, for your long-term energy, you need to plan and schedule your breaks. Think about it from a macro level, right? You're thinking about your productivity over the year. If you don't have any vacation scheduled, or time off, or time for you to recharge in some way, you're gonna get burnt out. And when you're burnt out, you're gonna be less productive in the long term. So you might be productive for a little while, but then you're gonna get burnt out and then you're not gonna be able to produce for the rest of the year. Now compare that with somebody who plans their vacations and is able to take some time off to recharge and come back stronger and better and more creative with more ideas. Like that's not gonna happen if you don't take a break. Now, the other part of this is on a micro level. So let's say you're sitting down to work, you've got a couple hours, right? And you're trying to get some stuff done. Well, how do you maximize your productivity by taking a break? There's this technique, it's called the Pomodoro technique, where you work intensely, you set a timer, set, work intensely for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break. And you just continue cycling 25, five, 25, five, 25, five, until you're done with that work session. Now, personally, I find 25 minutes a little bit short for my liking, so I extend it to 50 minutes and then take a 10 minute break. There's something powerful about staring a timer in the face and knowing that I need to edit my video or I need to post something online or whatever it is, respond to emails, you know, get through my entire inbox. Whatever that to-do list thing is, your priority, what you're trying to get done, get it done in that window. Now, tactically speaking, you can download apps for this. You can just set a timer on your phone. I've actually installed a Chrome browser app that is, um, it's a HIT timer. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And I just kind of co-opted and I set my own settings. You know, they're not used to having such long settings for, you know, work sessions and, and whatnot. It's more for like quick, short bursts of workout. So that's what I do. I use a HIT timer, I co-opt it, I set it to 15 minute work and 10 minute breaks, 
and then I just do as many rounds as I can. So when you're about to sit down to work, remember, set a timer, work intensely focused on getting certain tasks done, and then take a break. So in the spirit of taking breaks and keeping long-term productivity in mind, I've got an announcement to share. And that is that I will be taking a bit of a break from posting weekly videos on the channel. I've been doing this for a little while now and it's been a ton of fun, but I've just got a lot of travel and there's also the Muslim holy month of Ramadan coming up, which I want to observe and enjoy. So I just don't think I'll be in the right headspace or have the proper energy and time to dedicate to producing videos. So I'm gonna be taking a break for maybe two months or so. Um, I know it's a long time, but I've just got a lot of stuff going on. So nothing to worry about here. Uh, this is all intentional, right? As we, as we discussed, that's important. And the intention is to come back stronger and energized and more creative. And that is what I plan to bring to the channel when I return. Alrighty, well that wraps up today's episode. I hope you like it. If so, hit that like button below right now and also guys leave a comment below and share with the trailblazer uprising community when are you going to set your next big break let us know in the comments below share that energy with people so that we all feel empowered to make the right decision for ourselves in the long term and for more advanced training and inspirations that i only share with my subscribers go to trailblazeruprising.com right now and sign up for my newsletter and remember y'all don't ask anyone for permission okay make every moment of your life meaningful Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Trailblazer Uprising Show. See ya.